Hi, my name is James Wu, endocrine surgeon at the UCLA Health Endocrine Center. Today, I want to talk to you about what causes papillary thyroid cancer, which is the most common type of thyroid cancer. Now, there are many things that we know and many things that we don't know about why people get thyroid cancer. Let me begin with the things that we know for sure. One, significant exposure to radiation being near accidents like Chernobyl or Fukushima or radiation treatments to the head and neck for acne or other cancers, those are risks for thyroid cancer. Small amounts of radiation, like getting x-rays, CTs, or living close to a nuclear power station, those things do not cause thyroid cancer. Two, some families have genetic mutations that put them at higher risk of thyroid cancer, which is why we will always ask if anyone else in the family has thyroid problems or thyroid cancer. However, only about 5% or so of papillary thyroid cancers are due to genetics. Most cancers develop on their own. The vast majority of our patients have never been exposed to radiation and don't have a strong family history of papillary thyroid cancer. So why do they get thyroid cancer? Well, there's a short answer and there's a long answer. The short answer is, unfortunately, just bad luck. The longer answer is this. Our thyroid glands are made up of many, many cells. Just like how we need to constantly grow new hair, new skin, we need to grow new thyroid cells to replace the old ones. Each time a thyroid cell divides into new cells, it has to copy all the DNA over to the new cell. Each cell contains millions of pieces of DNA. And each time you try to copy all that DNA, some mistakes will be made. When mistakes happen in just the wrong place, the cell becomes abnormal. A cancer happens when a cell becomes so abnormal that it continues to grow when it shouldn't and grows into other parts of the body it is not supposed to grow into. Several studies have looked at other factors that may increase the risk of thyroid cancer. Things like smoking, obesity, pesticides, even heavy dust exposures in 9-11 responders. Right now, that data isn't good enough to prove a strong relationship between those things and thyroid cancer. No matter what the cause, the fortunate thing is that papillary thyroid cancers typically respond well to treatment, and the long-term outcomes are excellent for most of our patients. For more information, please see our other videos on thyroid cancer treatment by visiting our website. For a consultation, you can submit an appointment request online or call our clinic. Again, I'm James Wu. Thanks for watching.